Hello everybody, welcome back. Today I'd like to show you, I know I said I'd finished Christmas, but I've got these to show you how, what I made from giving um, gift cards. These are for my grandsons, Alistair and Elliot, and their wallets with the gift card in. And if you buy your gift cards from the post office, you get a receipt to tell you the value of the gift card. So that's in the back. And then here in this pocket, I've just put Merry Christmas. And the clothes with a magnet. So I have done them for the boys. Now I have got an adult one to make, but I'm not going to put his name on it. I'm going to make it a different colour, but I'll show you how I've made it. Um, put the boys ones there. Right, you need some cardstock. I have got Old Olive at 10 and 3 eighths by 6 and a half. I have got two pieces at two inches by four and one eighth, two inches by four and one eighth. I have a mossy meadow at two inches by three and a half. I have a piece of old olive at a quarter of an inch. This is for the closure. By this is four inches but I'll more than likely cut a bit off, but we'll see. I've got some green, I'm going to do some die cutting to go on top of here instead of a name. And I've also got a piece of white at three and a half, yeah, by two. And that's not very straight. Let me just straighten this out a bit. That's better. And that's for his little Merry Christmas sticker. So, let's start with this. Oh, stamp set. I have used the stamp set camouflage um, to do like the camo, obviously. And then just this mistletoe season, just for the Merry Christmas. So we will, I just remembered I need my big block for this stamp. Um, when I made it, when I made them, I just stuck it to my other board that I use. But because I've got paper here. I can't stick it to that. Right, first of all we need to score this. So I've got my scoreboard and I'm going to have to stand up and zoom you out. Right. I'm going to put this in at my 10 and 3 eighths and with my tool we're going to score at 5 and 1 eighths and 5 and a quarter. I'm going to turn it round and we're going to score at 2 and 7 eighths. That is our scoring, that's all we need to do. Put that away. Put that away and bring you back down. Right, what we need to do is do our folds. Now, fold it in half and burnish. Right, these are a bit tricky, so fold one. Yeah. 
once you get one folded and then you turn it around and push it till you get another And then you can burnish that one and all. That's it. And then you'll have your little spine. That's what you need, just a small spine. Right now then, you need to turn it round. And this top half bit, the two and, two and seven eighths bit, you need to... Bring it back this way and just burnish that half on the opposite way because that side is going to be folding in the way and you want it to fold in quite nice right up to the middle that's it so that when you fold it in You'll get your nice spine. Like that. That's all you got to do. Now then I found that sometimes is it doing not on this one? It is. Right, what I'm going to do is just shave off a tiny slither of the two and seven eighth part just a bit so it doesn't stick out when you fold it over same on this side just a tiny bit it's all you need when you fold it over doesn't stick out. Get rid of these. Alright. Next step we I've got a trio punch. You can use any corner punch if you decide to make these. Is round the corners, top and bottom. them done uh, so that's them ready for inking but let's prepare the right these like old olive ones the pockets for the inside don't need rounding off but these two do so let's round these off four corners of them to done. What else? That's it for now. Right, as I'm not putting the adult's name on here, I thought I would put a Mary and Joseph and baby Jesus on here because it is Christmas. So I'm going to cut them out quickly. I've got me uh, sidekick, my plates. I've got a scrap of old olive. And 
Mary's too near the top. That's it. There's the Mary Joseph. That's crap. Them dies are actually my own dies. I got them, was it last? Not last year, we never went last year, did we? Uh, the year before from the Peterborough um, Craft Fair. So they're just going to go ink stamped, glued onto there, like that. So I'll do that now. That'll be one job less. Like I said, it is Christmas, so. Making sure that's on the same level as Mary is kneeling on the floor, and then That'll sit on the front, I think that looks quite nice instead of his name. Yeah, right, and let's ink up our camouflage. I've got that here. Oh, my chopper gone up on the floor, trimmer. Right, old olive ink, ink it up. And fold it in half and lay it down. Rub it with a bit of paper. Quite nice. Ink it up again. And we're going to do this half. I've included the spine in this bit. That's that. Oh no, got this bit to do. Right, what I'm going to do now is just ink up this half and I'm going to lay about an inch of this on here. I don't want to go inking it all. because you can't see underneath like that and then we're going to do the same the other side rub it all And when you pop that in, 
looks like the camouflage is on the other side. Okay. Right now our two pockets they need camouflaging. So let's ink up air pocket down. Print it up, print it, ink it up. There's one. I think this is the first time I've used this stamp and I've had it for a while. Oh no, it's not. I have used it and I just haven't filmed what I used it for. So that's that done. Quite nice. Right, and that is it for the camouflage. Yeah. Right. It. Clean. Right, I'm just going to Leave that over there. I don't need that. Alright. So that's our... And then that will go on there like that. Just this bit of decoration. Right, now then we need to place our... Um, magnet. So what we're going to do is fold this and burnish it because our magnet's actually going to fit in there and we're going to get some double sided tape, oh I might as well use this since it's to hand. And we're going to have, I need to glue this down before I can do the magnet. So I need to find out where the middle is of this. So, Maybe I should have done the camouflage a bit like in Pear Pizzazz because that is not sticking out as much as I thought it would do. Never mind. Right, this needs to fold again. Because it's going to go in there and in there. So we need to stick this tape just there so I can stick my magnet to it. I did get them out, where are they? Help, I can't find my magnets. There they are. I want two of them. And I'm going to stick. On there, and I'm going to glue, glue the green bit, silly person. I'm going to glue this shot, so we're just running a bead of glue 
at either side and I always put a bit on the middle and then we're just going to glue this shut and I've glued that shut and it can't be shut yet silly person right I need another bit of tape it was so much easier last time I used glue dots and um, no I don't know what I'm doing here. Shouldn't have put that on there. Right. need to find out where that where this is going to go for that to go in there so I'm going to mark that Right, that's where the magnet's gone. So now I'm just going to glue all this down. Fold it in half and press either side of the magnet so that it has a, a good seal. that fold should I say put that on there like that and then glue this and put this between that fold making sure it's straight and glue this edge again There we have it. We have our closure. Hope that made sense to you. Wanted to hide the magnet under this one and then the, obviously the other end of the closure under this one. Right. Now we have to do the white lines. I've got a white gel pen and my ruler and this is going to take a little while. So all I did was draw white lines, dashes, all the way around my um, wallet. Couldn't remember what it was called then. So instead of you sitting here watching me do, because I've got to do around these two and around the um, front, I will come back to you 
when I've done it. I'm back, all done. So I've done yeah. all around the front and the back, all around the patch on the front, and I've done the two pockets. Took me a little while to do them all. So that's like that. So now all we've got to do is glue these ones in. Now, all I've done, all I do is glue round the edge of three, three edges. Oh, I forgot. So if I can do this up, touching the side, it's just bow it a little bit with your bone folder because you want to put a card in there and I'm going to place this about a quarter of an inch from the bottom she says and as you can see, I'll be able to get a card in there, no problem. Now, I'll do the same with this one before I glue it. Just, just bow it a little bit and then glue down three sides. And place it on this side, hopefully in line with the other one. Like that. You open up a wallet. Looks like a wallet. That will go in there once we've stamped. Merry Christmas on there and the gift card will go there and obviously his receipt will go in there back. So let's just quickly stamp Merry Christmas. I've got some cherry cobbler ink here and my Merry Christmas stamp and we're just going to place that right in the middle. Like that. And that will just go in there. Like that. And there you are. Let's take this gift card out just so I can show you. In there like that. Sally's gift card can't give that a Michael. So I hope you like my little project. Um, a great way of giving mails there. You can even put money in them. You don't need it just for gift cards. You know, it can be used for money cash as well. So, reason his name's not on it is he's an adult. Mind you, so's Ali. Ali's 20. Elliot's 14. But they're my grandsons. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my videos, please subscribe. If you want to press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon.